One of my contacts, Paul, asked me to add project tracking to my contact template. So I did. This project doesn't have a number. The project name is Add Forms for Projects and Tasks to the Contact Template. 8 a.m., 2 hours, Modify Data Structure. 10 a.m., 2 hours, Build Subform to Track Tasks and Time. Noon, 2 and a half hours, Create Projects Main Form. 2.30, half an hour, Implement Anywhere Notes and Anywhere Attachments. 8 p.m., 1 hour, Create Sample Data. 9.15 p.m., Make Video Demonstrating New Project Feature. Notice that as I create tasks and enter times, the total hours at the bottom of the subform is updated to reflect my total time spent on the project. I have a couple projects with another contact, Brent Greer. I use the Find combo at the top of the form to locate his record. When I drop the Find Project combo, I see only the two projects I have with Brent, since I'm on his record. The first project is a work dispute. The project number could be a case number. The work dispute project is in progress, and so far I have spent 5.25 hours on it. The project number can be anything or nothing. If you were a lawyer, you could use this for the case number. Today I contacted another person who is also helping, so I will add another entity. 9 a.m., 1 hour, discuss case with Dan. I click on the Anywhere Notes icon to add notes about our meeting. Notice that after I fill beginning date and time and hours, the ending date time is calculated. If I were to enter the beginning date time and the ending date time, the hours would be calculated. I'll clear the hours value and modify the end date time to 10.15. Notice the hours is calculated as 1.25. Brent is also getting married. I've been helping his fiancée Mary with the wedding plans and tracking my time. Let me pull up the wedding project. So far, I've spent 23 hours. On October 3rd, I plan to research honeymoon locations with Mary at 10 a.m. I'm not sure how long it will take, so for now, I'll just enter the beginning time and the task description. I want to share my information with Brent and Mary, so I click the Project Report button and then the Print icon on the Print Preview ribbon. This version of the contact database does not have a convert option in case you already enter data into an older version and don't know how to create append queries to move data yourself. I intend to cover how to do this in a future video and will leave the queries you need to run in the download. Thanks for joining me. Through sharing, we will all get better.